today I'm bringing you another earth friendly tutorial. I'm going to teach you how to make the reusable microwave popcorn bag. This bag is as quick and easy to make as it is to pop popcorn. And if you stay to the end, I'm going to show you how to use it. So let's jump right into the making. When you're making these reusable fabric microwave popcorn bags, it's very important to note that you must use 100% cotton fabric and 100% cotton thread when making these so that they will not melt in the microwave, which would be a fire hazard. You're gonna want a lining fabric. This is a directional print, so I'm gonna use that as my lining, and a main fabric that's gonna be your exterior fabric. You're gonna want to cut them 12 inches on the short side and 22 inches on the long side, place them right sides together, and you're going to clip or pin them all the way around and leave a gap on one of the long sides. I like to leave a gap of about four inches, and I've used these different style pins to remind myself to leave the gap. Starting here, I'm gonna sew all the way around with a quarter inch seam allowance and I'm gonna lock my stitches at the beginning and at the end. The next step is after you turn your project right side out, you wanna give it a really nice iron, and then that place where you turn the bag, your opening, you wanna push the fabric in so that you get a nice seam, makes it less visible. And you can either stitch this down now or at a later step because you are going to be stitching up the side. Personally, I like to go ahead and go in there and stitch that now. So after you have your bag closed, you're going to take the top end. You've got your exterior fabric facing up and I'm going to use my cutting mat to help me with this and I'm going to fold it down about two inches. You can go two, two and a half inches. Just make it even. And then I'm coming to the bottom of the bag and I'm gonna bring it all the way up to meet the folded edge at the top. So this is what it would look like from the side. And this is how you make your closure. So I'm gonna pin along the sides and I'm gonna to go to my sewing machine. I'm gonna sew a quarter of an inch away and close up the sides. I'm not, not gonna sew the top, just the side. Okay, our project is almost finished. We have sewn up the side seams and now all we need to do is box the corners. It is still inside out. And here I have one corner I have already boxed and I'll be sewing along this line and I will not be cutting off the excess. But let me show you how I did this. I have ironed a really nice crease here and I'm going to match the crease on the bottom of the back with the stitching line along the side. So you just kind of pull it out pull out the fabric a little bit, creates a triangle, and you're gonna match as best you can all the way down the seam. And I like to take a pin and go through my crease and check that it's going into the stitch line like so. So when you pull it out like that, then you simply measure two inches from the stitch line here down. And I'm gonna use my cutting mat here. So I've got two inches to here. And then simply draw a line across and it should be the same distance from the center the edges on both sides. And I can look at my cutting mat and see that it is. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and I'm going to sew these lines. Okay, so I have sewn along those stitching lines. I will hit these with a hot iron, which will take away the ink. And since this is a project that I am going to be donating to church for sale, I will wash it. So I turn the bag right side out, flip this cover around, and there you go. Now it's time to pop some popcorn. And let me show you how easy this is. All right, so I'm gonna demonstrate on my microwave popcorn bag, which is several years old. All you do is take half a cup of popping corn, place it inside your bag, then we're gonna go over to the microwave. So you just take your microwave popcorn, just as you would any microwave popcorn, put it inside. I'm gonna try using the popcorn setting. The time you will need for popping the popcorn will vary depending on your microwave. Today I'm using the popcorn setting for the first time. Normally I will place the bag in for about two minutes and 40 seconds, but I never leave this. I stand and wait and watch and listen for when the popcorn kernels start slowing down in their popping and that's when I take it out. Even though I've used 100% cotton fabric and cotton thread, this is not something I would want to stay in the microwave, as with any microwave item, longer than necessary. This popcorn smells and tastes amazing. I had to pop a second bag because Charlie came home from cycling and ate my prop. But I wanted you to see how full this bag is. That is a nice bag of popcorn. It smells really good. It's still warm. If you've enjoyed this video, I have other videos that I think you might enjoy. I really appreciate it if you would like and subscribe, and especially if you join in the conversation below. Let me know if you have made a microwave popcorn bag or if there are other quick projects that you'd be interested in seeing a tutorial on. Until next time, I hope you have a joyful week and that you find the good in all things, especially sewing. Bye. Thank you.